Today we have an unboxing of another beautiful item. The first thing that I'm going to cook in that, I've already bought the ingredients, is homemade lasagna. I'm going to do a crock pot lasagna. And so, all the way from California, Englewood, California. None of these types of items are available here in Wisconsin. We have to order them and then they all come from California. Um, we have, I have been able to uh, in-store purchase a, um, if I wanted to, I could have purchased in-store the um, air fryer in black. But otherwise, um, I've ordered towels and um, I ordered her um, Dutch oven. That's a Christmas present, so I haven't yet, won't be able to have that out until Christmas. That came from Inglewood, and then this. This I wanted right away because I found a crock pot lasagna recipe, and uh, it called for six quart. I don't have a six quart, and then when I looked up um, Drew's kitchen appliances, I found that she has an eight quart, so that'll be going up on the blog soon. A recipe, a step by step recipe for a homemade lasagna in a crock pot. With Drew Barrymore's beautiful eight quart slow cooker. Today's video is going to be crock pot lasagna. And if you saw the um, unboxing in the earlier part of my video, I have purchased and received a six quart crock pot slow cooker um, from the beautiful line sold, uh, I believe, on Drew Barrymore's website. Uh, I'll put that in the show notes, but I purchased mine through Walmart and it came to me from Inglewood, California. So it's in white because I have a air fryer that's in this color with kind of the brass detailing. Uh, nice big uh, six quart crock pot inside that I have sprayed down with cooking spray and now I'm going to put the um, meat sauce or the sauce Part in the bottom of the crock pot before I add my uncooked noodles. All right, we've put the meat sauce in the bottom of the crock pot. So I don't know if some people just put sauce and not the meat, but I'm just going to follow the recipe and that's what it suggests to do. And then the next layer is going to be some uncooked uh, lasagna noodles as the next layer. All right, this is a cheese mixture that goes in the crock pot lasagna. So you're going to have Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, uh, cottage cheese or ricotta, and in my case, I did half and half. So, and then it calls for one egg. I'll have the recipe in the show notes. Mine, uh, my mixture is going to look somewhat uh, more than what you're going to see in your mixture because I extended mine a little more because I have more ground beef. So the actual recipe with the actual uh, measurements will be in the show notes. So this is the cheese mixture. Okay, here's where we are with the lasagna. The last layer, and I was able to get just two layers. I know the recipe said she was able to get three. Perhaps she's using a smaller crock pot. I'm not sure, I will double check that. And that, of course, the recipe and the size of the crock pot slow cooker she's using will be in the show notes. So I've got two layers, ending with a meat sauce, and it is to be turned on low for four to six hours. And so, uh, 15 minutes before it's done, you're to sprinkle some mozzarella cheese over the top, brown it, and then, like I said, serve it with some parsley, fresh parsley over the top. So, uh, again, this is the beautiful six-quart slow cooker. It's not a sponsored ad. I'm not paid anything or getting anything extra for. I'm not getting anything, period. I bought it. I'm going to try this out and see how it works. I love the air fryer. I've also got the Dutch oven, which I'm going to be roasting a chicken in next weekend. So we're going to see how this goes and see how these work because there's uh, so few videos uh, how to operate and just how things turn out in her products. So basically I'm just adding it to my YouTube channel because I enjoy cooking. I enjoy trying new things. And so here we are. So when it's all done, which is in four to six hours, I will plate it up and show you what it looks like.
Okay, we are nearing the end of our slow cooker lasagna. So, it's been four hours. Everything is cooked through. The noodles are al dente. Now we put our um, mozzarella on the top and we're waiting for it to melt down. Possibly brown, I'm not sure if it's gonna brown. But definitely melt into the slow cooker lasagna. One of the things that I like about this is that when you lift the lid off, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but there is this um, apparatus that you can hang the lid from. So I'll go around back and show you. An apparatus that you fit in to like a clip or two holes in the back, you push it down in, and then you hang the lid off of it. So that's where we're at. It did a great cooking job on low, four hours. I would say that it was just soon after, maybe 20 minutes, you could start seeing the sides bubbling and cooking. So we're thrilled with this slow cooker. And here is the finished product. This is what my um, slow cooker crock pot lasagna looks like. And I did it in the um, beautiful slow cooker six quart um, by Drew Barrymore in her uh, beautiful kitchen appliance line. Looks perfect. Can't wait to taste it. Everything came out. It solidified. It wasn't a big mushy mess. Cooked all the way through. It took four hours on low.